All right, guys, all right. Just so you know, your old friend Seb is gonna geek out at you a little bit on for Foundation 1440 this, this week, right? Uh, and today, right, guys, Tuesdays, we talk about mindset, right? We got through Monday, motivation, screw our head on tight, right? We've got this, right? We're gonna shine. And then by Tuesday, Monday is crush your soul just a little bit, right? Monday was tough yesterday here at um, Nest Property Group, and yet we're, we're battling on, right? And Tuesday comes into this mindset. But what's interesting, guys, is if you look at this, I was, I was thinking about the seven buckets. I don't know if you see that. Seven buckets, right? And the first one is spirituality. We're not talking about that today, but I'll tell you what. When stuff starts going wrong, when there's problems, right? I don't care who you are. There's something, you're praying to something in your head. Why is this happening? I don't care if it's karma, Buddha, uh, the Lord above. It doesn't matter to me, right? We, so we'll talk about it at another time. But we, I was thinking about health. And a friend of mine, funny, God bless her, said, you know, love the skin you're in. So at 50 years old, right, uh, guys, the, right, the, the gray and thinning, you just got to embrace the suck of aging. But, but I, I'm not doing it without fighting back. And so thinking about health and the mindset of health, my gorgeous wife, Brooke, had me go see a naturopath. And he spent some time measuring my cellular walls and my elasticity of my cells, right? And, we're ta and what got me interested about, he, he hit me where, he's smart enough to hit me where I was interested. He started talking about mindset. He started talking about brain chemicals, right? And he's looking at what my chemicals and my chemistry look like and the, and, and the strength of my walls, right? And we had a conversation about stress, right? Because I'm in a, I'm in a sales business. It's a big business. My own team is doing some crazy business right now. God, thank goodness, right? And my company might pass $300 million. Crazy, right? Crazy. A third of a billion dollars, right? And oh, it's, there's the, oh, right? And here's what's going on. And you might be feeling this in your life too, right? And this is mindset, right? Is that the hypothalamus, right? This thing goes on and it's this flight or fight or flight response that's built into us. And it's the same chemicals as stress. So Dave Ramsey says, right, you're going to run at your goal like a gazelle getting chased by, you know, getting about ready to be eaten, right? The cheetah is coming. And, and it's a run, right? Or the old caveman days, if I come at you and I have a club, you're out of there. It's like the roadrunner, a puff of smoke, right? And that's fight or flight. And it's the hypothalamus saying, we're going to inject a bunch of cortisol, right? So that we can bring these systems online that get us out of there, right? And guys, stress, right? Can be good if we're leaning into it, right? Because the cortisol's in there and we're at peak performance, right? But what's happening is we're borrowing from the other biochemical systems in our body. We're shutting stuff down because cortisol's in there. And it's eaten up all our, our you know, biological bandwidth. And so the problem is, is if we stray in a stressful state, right? COVID, right? And our business is, ah, crumb, or too much work, or right? if we're in that stressful state too much, cortisol, right? It's just, there's too much going on. And it's stealing from these other systems, right? And that's why you feel like maybe you're constantly under attack, man. It's like space invaders, right? So we got to fight against it. And that goes back to this bucket right here. Health, right? Cellular elasticity of the cells and the mitochondria and the neurons and right? blah, 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 blah. Take care of your body, right? Take care of this and that follows. Get my buns down there and do the last. I got one. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to be transparent. I've only done two sets. Get down there and do your push-ups so you don't get the, oh, man, right? And get down there and do your planks, right? Because that makes you get some core strength in here, right? And, and, and I just want to know, have you got that mindset? Do you understand that you got, like, you fight back with your mindset, right? You're like, I've got this. Today's my day. It's powerful habits in the morning. We're working out for health. 
strong, you know, the body strong, the mind will follow. We're going to put some music on the shower. <laughs> Yesterday I had, you know, the gals, when I talk about dancing in the shower, they're like, oh, that's so cute, Seven, it's great. And the guy's are like, dude, your man giblets dancing, you're freaking me out. I'm like, you will never unsee that. <laughs> ah, you tuned in, your fault, right? And, and you're going to be healthy, right? And the body's going to be healthy, right? And then you're just, you have, you have cell elasticity to just, no, oh, whoa, pity. All right, I'm working out, right? And, and, you, and you've got this so that you're strong, right? And that just made, and then nobody can, can diss on your shine. That's how it is, right? It's a great day in paradise. Holy moly, five minutes. If it took me five minutes to tell you to get your buns, to get up, get out, and get after it, we got bigger problems, guys, but just, you know, I'm trying, if I, if I spout this stuff to you, I'll do the third set. <laughs> Love you guys. Get up, get out, get after it. Told my kids when I just dropped them off at school, man, bomber morning, right? 45 intense minutes of breakfast and make lunch and feed dogs and get kids to school on time, right? It happens. Just saying. You got this. Get up, get out, get after it, you little joy broker.